Here on the field at Latham after the Paladins run their conference winning streak to seven in a row and knock off the Citadel in the first game of this three-game weekend series four to two and beat their ace J.P. Sears in the process. Brett Harker um, had the overall winning streak snap, but that conference winning streak really even more important than that, and he kept it going. Yeah, that was a big game for us. Look, uh, it's one of the oldest rivalries in the nation, Furman versus Citadel. Uh, in particular, for me, playing at College Charleston and coaching at Furman, this is this is one of the biggest games of the year for me. And then we're going against one of the best pitchers in the conference. That guy is serious. Is the real deal. Uh, he's he's as advertised. He is very very good. Plus fastball. He had a better breaking ball than he's ha ever had against us tonight. He was tough, and we battled it out and got enough runs on the board with a couple big hits. Um, that's a man. I thought our lefty threw pretty well, man. Grant Grant did excellent, and then the bullpen came in. Shut the door. Um, that's, what they, that's what we ordered. That's what we drew up. It, it was a beautiful game by us. Yep. The thing that Grant did not do today was make the big mistake that led to somebody hitting one out of the park. He kept the ball down, kept them in control, and seven innings, only one earned run. You can't ask for more than that. Yeah, we we really challenged them too on quit, you know cutting down on mistakes on changeups. It's just it's it's been a repetitive thing that the changeup up has has really hurt him. And I thought he did a really good job on that. I just thought he had a good approach today and executed it um, and just turned into a dominating performance for us. And then once again, I was just so pleased with the bullpen with Heath and TK getting his first save. Guy looked like he'd been doing that for four years. Uh, he looked really good coming in the ninth right there. And we talked about opportunities. I told you, you know, he's done well midweek, done well midweek. I threw him baptism by fire right there. I threw him right into a closed situation on Friday night and boy, did he excel. Um, offensively, guys did just enough uh, he had only given up three home runs all year you hit two and what's up with your smallish middle infielders all of a sudden going yeah, he's just keeping it simple man he's keeping it simple the funny part is none of the swings look like he's trying to hit home run he's just trying to get a good barrel on it and he that was his most no doubter of his career right there that was a huge swing for us and that's just a guy getting older in his career learning how to seize the moment and step up for his team and it's a lot of fun to see that yeah talking about sims grip with carter Grote also had one for you and you spot him too and, and able to fight back and win it and i thought that again combination of, of grant shutting the door and then your offense not being intimidated by jp sears yeah i thought we had a good approach against them and look you're <laughs> We at no point think we're going to score nine or ten runs against them. We just need to score more than they scored. And I kept telling the guys, they're not going to get more. I'm telling you, get on the board. We're going to be all right. And then Crater gets our confidence up. Obviously, he had a, he hit that thing out with an eight or a nine iron. I don't know how he hits home runs that are that low. Um, got us on the board, and then the confidence built. And you're just looking for big swings out of big time players, and we got it. As you're playing much better baseball now, you're starting to reverse some trends. This is the first game you've won this year where you scored four runs or less. You were 0 and 13 coming in. Wow, uh, I'm glad you told me that now and not in the ninth. <laughs> that, would have, that would have brought up my blood pressure. No, but look, when, when you're playing good baseball, all the other stuff you've done is irrelevant. Right now our team's eight and one. Since I challenged them to clear the clear slate, we're eight and one. So I don't even know what our overall record is because we're eight and one in my eyes. We're gonna keep this thing rolling. We got gas on the mountain we think's pretty good. and. And uh, remember, we're bumping it up to 12 o'clock tomorrow, not a 4 o'clock start at 12 o'clock to try and avoid the rain in the late afternoon. Um, but we're excited about going out and trying to win a series. All right, Brett, thanks. Thank you, Dan.